Uh, what's up, boxing fans? It's Aztec 101, and here I go again with the last minute prediction video. This video is going to be for Josh Taylor versus Jack Catterall. Uh, the fight is coming up soon. I'm <laughs> hoping I get this prediction out before the fight actually starts. Uh, but let's go over what happened in their first fight. So this is a rematch. Um, Josh Taylor, Jack Catterall. Uh, Josh Taylor is now 19 and one uh, with 13 KOs. Jack Catterall is 28 and one with 13 KOs. And in their first fight, uh, Taylor was dropped for the first time in his career in the eighth round. Uh, you also have a point deducted uh, for Taylor uh, that was in the 11th. And uh, that was for hitting after the bell. Um, kind of a bullshit point deduction in my opinion. But it happened. Uh, Catterall was also deducted a point for holding in the 10th round. Which was justified. Catterall was... I mean, the holding really, really made the fight hard to watch. And um, most of the time it was Catterall that was initiating the hold and locking up. And uh, refusing to let go. And that was really a problem for me. I felt like uh, the announcers during this fight were uh, kind of saying that the ref was supposed to step back. That he's getting too involved. Um, but I thought the ref was dealing with a fighter that was, you know, just being really awkward going in there and doing a lot of holding. And he had to step in. Um, I got to tell you guys, I don't I didn't see a a robbery in their first fight. Um, Josh Taylor to me won the fight he won a close fight it wasn't a landslide victory at all but in my opinion he did enough to win uh, I actually agree with Victor Laughlin's scorecard which uh, I'm gonna put up so you could see it and uh, in his scorecard majority of the rounds I would say every round I agree with the scorecard you know so um, for those of you saying that Jack Catterall was robbed, I don't know what fight you were watching. Uh, maybe it's just that you're part of his fan base, but I got to tell you guys that that was actually a close fight. I mean, I could see how you would think that he won. Um, if there's some rounds that are some rounds were hard to score and they're pretty tight. And if you take all the swing rounds and give it to Jack, I could see why you would think this is a robbery. But I mean, if if that's how your brain is working, then you would have robbed Josh Taylor because not every swing round was uh, Jack Catterall's to take. So um, in my opinion, I think that this fight should be just as competitive. I'm hoping that it happens without all the holding, though, because that was really boring for me. I think that ruined the fight for me. Um, I'm hoping this fight is a little bit more exciting. There's a lot more punch output coming from Jack Catterall because if he's able to turn up in the later rounds instead of trying to be defensive, use the outside of the ring, and not really throw punches, um, I think he's going to give up rounds just like he did in, in the first fight. If uh, Josh Taylor continues controlling the center of the ring and is the one pushing Catterall back, uh, he's going to be looked at as the aggressor. And there's, there's there's a good chance that a lot of these rounds, rounds that are close, uh, are going to go to Josh Taylor if this is the way it looks. So that's how it looked like in the first fight. Um, ultimately, I got Josh Taylor winning. I think it's going to be, again, a close fight. Um, I wouldn't be su surprised if Jack Catterall does not change anything and goes in there with the same game plan. Especially having a fan base that's telling you that you won. Um, especially when you tell a fighter that he got robbed and they walk into a rematch, there's a good chance that he's going to come in with the same strategy. Uh, and there, I mean, because what else would you need to change if, if the fans think that you won the first fight by you doing what you were doing? There's no reason to make any adjustments or anything like that. So he might just come in with the same strategy, which would be to make it awkward, um, kind of disrupt uh, Josh Taylor's rhythm, and then also uh, stay on the inside to, so he could smother Taylor's punches. Uh, Taylor is a bigger puncher than Catterall, uh, and it shows in, in, their, in, their, um, in their record. Uh, Jack Catterall has uh, about... He's got nine more fights than Josh Taylor, but they have the same amount of knockouts. Uh, they both have 13 KOs in their career. And uh, I think Josh Taylor, he needs to get that get back. He's going to have to knock down uh, Catterall. I think he's fighting an uphill battle 
a lot of I, I know that UK boxing fans are kind of split with the way they see it. There are definitely a lot of UK fans that saw Josh Taylor win. But uh, this is going to be an uphill battle for both fighters, especially for Josh Taylor. Because uh, if Jack Catterall has just a little bit of success, I think it's going to be over amplified to make it seem like as if he did more than what he really did. Um, but that's kind of what happens with the underdog. Uh, so I see that uh, in this fight, Josh Taylor has all the advantages. He's a sharper puncher. Uh, I think he's a stronger puncher. Um, I think Jack Catterall, the one thing that I did like in the first fight was when he let go of combinations that were random and uh, would surprise Josh Taylor. I think the, the biggest problem I had with it was that Jack Catterall would slow down and he would stop doing that. So um, uh, I think that uh, this fight is going to happen very similar to the first fight. Uh, Josh Taylor, as long as he doesn't get dropped. And as long as he controls the center of the ring, he should be able to pull out a clean performance better than the first fight and just be able to win a clean victory. But I got, like I said, I got Josh Taylor winning. You guys let me know. What do you think? Who do you have winning in this fight? This is Aztec 101 in the ring, and I'm out.